and welcome to Making It Artisan Stories. I'm Linda Marie Colon, your host, and I'm here with Amanda Ward. Amanda is a multimedia artist. So if you want to go ahead and tell me what exactly that entails. It basically means I do a lot of different things. I work with illustration, I paint, I sew, uh, I do ripped paper portraits and collage work, and I uh, make craft. I, I dabble with a little bit of everything. Well, it certainly looks like you do, and I <laughs> see a plethora of your art here that you brought in to show our viewers, um, because I see back here a little bit of fashion that's caught yes. my eye that has some of your talent. I found that by taking photographs of my work, I could see it just a little bit differently take it from a third dimension to a two-dimensional digital image. Mm -hmm. Okay. And so I you're taking a photograph once you complete or you're nearing completed, completion. Yep. And then I found a website that will print it on fabric. And so I found I could take a picture of a oh, so painting. so you're creating this fabric from your own original artwork. Yep. And you found an outlet that will print that out so that you can then take it to another level, which is Constructing a dress like this. Yep. So you or, make your daughter's clothes. Or a jumper like this one. Oh, that's amazing. Okay. Yep. So I took uh, a spatter painting that I had on canvas and I took a very clear shot of it. I had it printed on this is a polycrate machine, a really, really soft, beautiful, flowy fabric. Oh, it certainly is. And then I found a pattern for a jumper. I have a, a friend who's a, a, a model and she's sort of my muse. Turns what is a still and sort of calm art into a more dynamic form so you can see it moving on a body and catching the light in different ways so you can't necessarily see just on a canvas in a room. That definitely looks like uh, it was custom made. I have notebooks that I've printed and behind you there's a maxi dress that I made from the print. Um, Again the original pattern is drawn by you? Yep it's, uh, it was ink on canvas this time and then acrylic paint on canvas using the circles and smears and a little bit of spatter painting and then ink and uh, I took a nice clear picture of it. I uploaded it to the um, internet. Then you anywhere from a, a, a yard of the fabric, you can get a bolt of the fabric. You can get whatever style fabric you like. Um, you can upholster your couches in it if you want. To. That's amazing. And it really is an original, one of a kind, exactly. truly unique. And I'm also seeing some collage work. Mm -hmm. This one right behind us is vows, actually. From my sister's wedding, I took the handwritten vows that they wrote, and I wanted to make them something really one of a kind. And I've been able to print them on coffee mugs. Oh, wow. And They're an everlasting piece. Okay, so you transferred them. Yep, and this pillow right here, this is a throw pillow with that rose on it. And oh, then this is hand a satin that I plan on making a dress for my daughter with. Oh, it's nice. Um, there's websites out there that are really geared toward the artist in the digital age and mm -hmm. finding ways to, to take just a print that maybe somebody would buy, mm -hmm. but maybe they're, maybe somebody wants to buy art, but they are young and they, and they don't own a house yet. So they don't necessarily have walls and are in a For place where they art. can collect art. But wouldn't it be great if that person could buy a shower curtain with mm -hmm. an, art, an artist's design? And mm -hmm. so I found a website that will take your digital image and print it on almost anything. You know, they can put That's it on incredible. yoga pants. They can put it on a gym bag, um, a throw pillow, which I have a few examples of here. See. On notebooks, um, blank notebook or mugs. Mm -hmm. On tote bags, this is um, uh, my llama on a tote oh, bag. So, so you that's... were able to take the this llama, yep. which and was ink, tissue paper, and then acrylic paint, and acrylic paint, and transfer it and yep. create a tote bag out of it. Yep. So what do you find is the most popular? The animals, definitely. I have people ask, can you make a sloth? Can you make an antelope? What about a dragon? You know, mm -hmm. which I can't wait to do. The dresses are sort of a passion project because they mm -hmm. cost too much to print the fabric. So the fashion can be pricey because yeah. of the material. You have scarves, bags, there's mm -hmm. mugs, there's pillows, depending on where you're showing these, um, as well as on your website. Mm -hmm. It's just a, a People popular pick and choose what pick they, and like. Choose yep. they like. What I really go through is the prints, just because it's an affordable way to have a nice piece of art that you like in your home. Great. The throw pillows will end and up being of presents. For, yeah, yeah, they'll end up being presents for my family members. I think it's a really cool idea that you have this one pillow that's sort of a work of art. When, you know, if you don't have room on your walls, you can put it on your couch. 
put it on your bed and repurpose it, change rooms. So it's yep. like moving art around and exactly. sort of redesigning or redecorating. And it's just a matter of just having accent pillows mm -hmm. and brighten up a room at the same time. The way this particular website works, which is linked to my website, is they sort of have their own choice. Mm -hmm. They can make it into a big throw pillow, a small pillow, a tote bag, a mug, whatever they want to see it on. If, if they're the type of person that hosts parties all the time, they can print it on a, a serving tray, a food serving tray, you know, and then the guests will see it and then it'll be a nice conversation to start with the guests. Absolutely. If they're, if they're the type of person that, you know, has big pieces of modern art, they can have it printed on a, a like three blocks of wood. Mm -hmm. And it's, you know, so you can have like the llama printed across three blocks of wood. And again, you know, that's just, they have a little bit more control over the, the, the medium that that piece of art mm -hmm. comes to them in. So it's something you can collaborate on. Mm -hmm. It's versatile, mm -hmm. and it seems like the options are endless, mm -hmm. and it becomes your art yeah. as far as the, the recipient. Yeah, exactly. Because they can kind they can of personalize it, sort of. This website and, and the printing it on things like this sort of makes artists in this day and age a little bit more reachable. You know, it makes our work a little bit easier to sort of get out into the world. And feedback is really just healthy you know it's, and you can do that through social media because mm -hmm. people can request people can comment you mm -hmm. can post something that you want to share and kind of got a feel if that's going to take off yep. and if it's one of a kind that's fine too because as you mentioned when you're creating even the material mm -hmm. you're not stuck with a whole bolt of material you're getting a piece or depending on the project you're sort of dictating yep. the size so there's no waste exactly um, yep. which you is get great exactly for sustainability um, it's definitely something that works well because you can either repurpose it if you do have extra because since you seem to be always thinking of different ways to show your art, mm -hmm. you can turn something with extra material into a scarf. I can see that you have uh, smaller scarves and then behind you that looks like an infinity scarf as well as uh, the bag and even, you know, the pillowcases mm -hmm. e either side. Mm -hmm. You can have a diverse Yep, you can make Look use of it. all of the material that you have. Make so it very all little waste. I, I think that's a positive. Mm -hmm. I think that out there, there are a lot of people that want to buy and buy local. Mm -hmm. And knowing that it's sustainable and that the materials you're using, you really, it's a feel-good product as yep. well. Yep. Um, so what you're doing is really just uh, almost making scale, making it for order. Kind of cool that you can offer somebody something that's really one of a kind affordable mm -hmm. you know and attainable and it's really not you know if you're going to make something custom well you're really going to pay for it and you're saying no it's actually doable you have relationship with vendors yeah. and you can make it happen and so you're always coming up with ways to put your medium trying to make it just put it out there how else are you sharing your art is this through social media do you have a mm -hmm. following what other platforms do you prefer to show your work and perhaps take ideas? Do you get commissioned for work? I do. I have an Instagram account and I have a fair amount of followers from that. Well, I think you've definitely found what worked for you and those on the receiving end uh, definitely enjoying the fruits of your labor and you're sharing your skills with everyone else who's definitely enjoying the, these forms of art and to have more than one choice and uh, the versatility is tremendous. So. Pretty cool. Thank you very much. Thank so, you. Amanda Ward from Hamden, Connecticut, multimedia artist. I'm Linda Marie Cologne, host for Making It, Artists and Stories. Thank you for watching, and thank you for your time and for visiting us. Thanks for having me.